Hi, it's Friday, November 5th. It's been a good start to the morning. I had a nice buck chasing a doe. I don't know how great of the footage I got of it. Um, I mean, he ran her hard right through my dome inside and everything. It looked like a nice buck. And I just had another little yearling come up. Kind of mingled around for about 15 minutes near me, about 25 yards away. I jumped the buck this morning on the way up, a small one, he was bedded, stood and stared at me for a couple minutes at 40 yards and then just worked off, thankfully he never blew or anything, so it's a good start, uh, oh and I have had an owl chasing squirrels around this morning which has been entertaining to watch, so the rut is here though, I'm definitely going to start doing some grunt calls, it's super quiet morning cold. It's like 30, 30 degrees, I think, 28, 30 degrees, so, and I'm off. I think the next 10 days, 9, 9, 10 days, so, we're going to hunt hard. Hopefully we can, uh, we can get at it and, and get a buck on the ground. Stay tuned. November 6th, beautiful morning, other than the wind is everywhere, it's a super light variable wind, so we could be in trouble with that, but it's the rut, and we got a hunt, so I switch properties, I'm out at my father-in-law's place this morning, I snuck back in this, this bedding area, Squirrels are already starting up. 30 degrees this morning. Very light wind, like I said. So we're out. It's the rut. Gonna hunt from sunrise to sunset. I'll probably end up switching if the activity isn't hot over here. Stay tuned. We're gonna try to get a buck down today.
well, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. It just needed to be a bigger buck. Uh, it was a year and a half old, six pointer. Cool looking buck. I mean, I hit that ground collie, came right to me. I had him at five yards under the tree. Picked up my probably my ground scent a little bit, but looks like those thermals are doing what they're supposed to. We're gonna sit tight. Maybe next time it'll be a bigger buck. All right, it's 11:30. I think I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, I brought my hanging hunt with me, so I think I'm gonna go over by our Nebraska food plot and hunt down towards the end of it. There is a stand over there, but the way this wind is acting, I would rather kind of move down towards the end of it, off the plot a little, and the way they, they come in a lot. So, so that's the plan. I did see one other small buck. Uh, I didn't get any footage of him. He came moving through pretty fast and stayed in the thicker stuff. So. Overall, not not too bad. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these these bigger bucks start cruising here this evening or maybe this afternoon, early afternoon. I'll see you when I'm in my next spot. All right, it is it's 1:05, and I just got set up for an evening hunt. Um, I'm just down from my Nebraska food plot because the wind is so variable I wanted to get off the plot a little bit so I decided to do a hanging hunt um, and the deer like to come from right up this way in front of me here and they like to walk up this lane to the plot I got like a swamp behind me they don't tend to come through the swamp as much there's better bedding over to my um, out in front of me here so that's why I decided to set up right where I am I got right to that lane they like to walk it's a 25 yard shot so I got a couple different shots and I got a 30 yard shot um, a little bit back behind me here so which is perfect because the, the property line is I'm right on the line so it's only about 35 yards um, and I don't even have any shots on the other side of the property line the way it's really thick right there so so anyway so like I said it's one o'clock you never know during the rut it's warmed up a little bit but I think it's still about 48 degrees I think it got up to um, I'm hoping these bucks are gonna come work over this way looking for does so that's why I decided to set up over by the plot so we'll see you never know during the rut. Stay tuned. chase a doe they came out of the bedding area which I figured they would um, I didn't get much of their chase as they got down in here they kind of stopped and it's it's still pretty thick over in, in that area but um, I did get a little bit of footage of the doe walking away and the buck walking away I, I tried to grunt the snort raise probably should have just let them go and just see if they worked over this way 
um, but it was worth a try. So they didn't spook off or anything. They just ended up walking the other direction. So that's a good thing, though. It means that there's bucks in the area. So maybe that will uh, attract a few more. And it's early. Like I said, it, it was just 3 o'clock. Hopefully we get a little more action. I think we will.